What's going on, boys? What's, What's the name? What's the name? Is this is this Muay Thai Mike Burke? This is Muay Thai Mike Burke. What's yes. happening? Oh, Muay yes. Thai Mike. That's amazing. What is up? Nothing. Just finishing up practice and a little early, so I figured I'd give you guys a call and just say what's up and hope everything's Muay going Mike, well. Um, Muay Thai Mike from the Institute Muay Thai 45, 45 Car Ev in Kingsburg, New Jersey. And I got to be honest with you, just opened it up, a, uh, I guess, a couple months now. Has it even been that long? Two you months. About a this? month. Two months. Okay. Two months. Yeah, Two we months. started right. uh, January 1st. I opened up to the public February 1st, but uh, we've been here since right. January 1st training. So Chris technically nice. was right. But, you know, but, um, okay. yeah, I see the I, pictures. You post pictures on social media. It looks like you've got a lot of things going. I mean, I, I – you know, you got a women's only class, you got a kids class, you got the base show wrestling club in there, and you got, you know, yeah, you're, dude, you're diversify, normal. right? I'm trying to hit all this. That's awesome, dude. A little something for everybody. That's really a, it's really a good deal. Good deal. Yeah, so I'm glad business is going well. I mean, what are yeah, you getting the jujitsu in there? Yeah, I'm not. That's Come on. Cool, man. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. He likes striking, <laughs> the real fighting. Okay, it's not judo, it's not jujitsu, it's striking. That's yes, awesome, but right? I do have I I do have the wrestling. I love fucking wrestling, man. So I started a wrestling club. Yeah, but it's great for those kids, man. That's awesome. It really. Is yeah, great. dude. It's wrestling's big in our town. I don't know how to do it, so I I brought in like experts. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I brought in right. some really solid coaches. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Well, that's smart. Yeah, Jesus they're running man. the program for me. Um, and that's growing slowly but surely. Um, wrestling season, I guess, is just ending. So. Any of your fighters got anything on the horizon? Any 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 fights up? I'm coming. Yeah, anybody? so how about Eric Jung? He's about to compete in uh, Golden Gloves on Saturday. Sweet, oh, nice. Ooh. Yeah, I'm really excited. That's about pretty that. cool. It's, um, in his Muay Thai fights, he's always had really good boxing for Muay Thai, but now Ooh. like he's entering like the deep water with the boys who've been doing this since they were five. You know what Hell I mean? Hell yeah! It's, it's going to be a different yeah, uh, different experience, man. It's like. Yeah, I guess it's probably similar to being a good jujitsu guy for MMA, but then going to do like fucking Abu Dhabi or something like that. Different, different, yeah. different experience. It doesn't always translate. Yeah. Doesn't no. always translate, oh, yeah. man. It doesn't always translate. So he's been working really hard with our boxing coach Hakeem Bryant, um, and going to like his different boxing clubs and stuff. And you know, it's exciting. We're we're really looking forward to it. And then um, uh, Anthony Montanero is fighting. Alongside with Melissa Gardner, March 11th for um, World Class Kickboxing Championship. That, that series kickboxing. Yeah, I, got, I actually got two teammates. Oh, I got two teammates fighting that night too. Nice. Oh, awesome! So you guys will be there. That's awesome, dude. Why don't you guys? Yeah. Dude, why don't you guys ever do a live event somewhere? Like, how cool would that be if you did like a live broadcast from? Like great, that, I, was, event. I was thinking about those kinds of things the other day, but it's fucking, you know, it's hard. Sure, it was. Was. The logistics of it is really hard, yeah. Well, we we <laughs> got to get right <laughs> together. <laughs> you know, four of us, is, getting us all four together is rough. Yeah, Omar lives. We're trying, to get, we're, we're trying to get press passes for for local fights and things like that. Uh, it's just yeah. try, to, try to find the avenue to get those. You know? Yeah, dude, I will 100% be able to get you guys press passes to any of the local fucking events, dude. Oh, please Ooh. let us know. We're, just, we're very green to this. We're trying to, you know, we're, we're on the come up here. We're trying to, you know, step up levels here. So, yeah, hey, dude. absolutely. That's what we want. We need yeah, stuff without like that. Yeah, without a doubt, dude. Without a fucking Me, doubt. Chris, and Tommy will go. We'll leave Omar out of it. Don't worry about it. He lives too far. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Yeah. He'll try to yeah, deport be, me. Yeah. I show up you know what? Me. Public. Yeah, that's right. We can't take him to fucking Freehold. You know how those guys no. do out there, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So wait, do you know do you know who your <laughs> do you know who your guys are fighting uh, on March 11th? I just want to make sure we're we're not our schools aren't going to be fighting each other because I think we're going to have to drop your call. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. Anthony, Anthony Montanero is fighting uh, Leandro Hernandez out of uh, Dante Rivera's gym, I believe. Okay. Okay, we're okay. good. I believe it's, uh, where, are they, where are they from? Uh, Ricardo Almeida, right? From Almeida's gym. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Dante Rivera School's in, in uh, Freehold. Yeah, and then um, uh, Melissa's fighting some gal from some M- uh, MMA, like, mom and pop shop. I'm, I'm really not familiar with them. It's something, something well, dojo or something. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, right, there's so, so many come up nowadays. Seems legit. Seems legit. What's that? In the- there's so many so many gyms popping up everywhere, you know. You, yeah, you know, yeah. You don't really know yet. You got to see them fighting in the cage. In the, in the well, no, I just wanted to make sure we're not promoting the wrong school. I'm just going to put you guys on speakerphone. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right um, it's all good. Don't get arrested. 
No, they don't. Especially when yeah. um, when they don't have any fights. When these girls are like, or, or guys are like, one and zero, zero and one. It's really hard to get any kind of like footage on them or anything like yeah. that. You can't really scout them in their gym. You, know, you can't like walk nope. in and be like, hmm, what do you do? You know, nope. yeah, and, exactly. And you know what? In the beginning, I really don't. I want our fighters to focus on what they're really good at. Right. You know, right. when they get to a bit of a higher level, then there's so much video on like these guys who have 15, 20, 30 fights that I can take a look at what their tendencies are and, and try to game plan for that. Yeah. Plus, early in fighters' careers, I would think, especially you know, new to the game, amateurs in a, in a way or whatever. Um, you don't want to get in their head too much, make them think, you know, like, of course you want to be cerebral in there, but you don't want to, like, start to come out of your comfort zone and, you know, start doing what you're not good at, and that's how you yeah, get so. too much, and it doesn't, it's not muscle memory. You get tired fast. It right. happened with me. Right. Like, you're tense. Yeah, you're like, and it really yeah, depends too. on, like, um, the fighters. I have some fighters, like, um, like Malcolm Hill, for example. Like, that motherfucker is, like, like, he's, Mike? A, he's a professional. Yeah, now you guys could. He's like that now, so. he really takes an intellectual like approach to this whole thing. So he wants to game plan and break shit down and, and really get into it. And then I have other guys that are like that tell me I don't even want to know who I'm fighting. You just tell me yeah, when and where to get in there. And punch. Yeah. Right. Huh. So it really it's depends on the individual, you know. It's pretty cool, and that's yeah. where you have another to play. One? Sorry, I'm just trying to big don't them up. Don't you have another coach, one of your guys you know, like, going to Thailand? Yeah, I was so just gonna say that you fucking stole my thunder, you prick. Ah, prick! Out there already. He just went out. Um, he's on a. He went out there on a six uh, a six month contract. He's got to fight six times in six months. Um, hmm. interesting. And everything is uh, everything's paid for. It's uh, I guess it would be the the equivalent of like a um, a scholarship if he was going to college. You know what I mean? Everything right. For. Um, his training, his food, everything. He just has to go out there and uh, and represent the school and and fight six times once a month. He's got to fight. So he's fighting for 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 your school under a different trainer out in in Thailand. No, nah, he'll represent um, the school that he's um, or the gym that he's fighting for. It's called the Samoy. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Samoy Fight House, and um, and he'll represent them while he's out there for sure. But I mean when it comes to him, like, promoting shit. Like, he always promotes the team. But, no, when he's out there, he'll he'll be fighting for that particular gym that he's at. True. Wow. It's pretty interesting. Interesting dynamic. Pretty awesome. know, there's, like, layers to it. Yeah, An opportunity cool. that you can't really pass up, no matter what the, what the circumstances are, I would take that oh, in a heartbeat. Oh, yeah, no, dude. And this wow. is, like, the conversation I have with, like, my upper-level guys. Like, no matter what, I'm never going to stand in the way of their career advancing, even if it uh, hurts my progress. pride sometimes. You know what I mean? That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. But this, in this situation, like, it it, it 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 has nothing to do with that. Like, this situation, a lot of guys go from one country to the other and train with a different school, you know what I mean, or a different gym. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just helping them out in the long run. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. And, and helps the gym out because he comes back home and he's going to, I told him, man, he's going to be out there for six months learning some different shit. When he be comes back here, right? man. I have been teaching it. I That's have, a good I've way to heard. look at things, man. It keeps it keeps your pride from being hurt when you look at it that way. You know, yeah, and you and get better. Good point. When he comes good back point. here, let me tell you, man, I've been working seven days a week now since January 1st. Haven't stopped. <laughs> and when he comes no, back, freaking it. that motherfucker is going to teach his ass <laughs> off. And I'm going to sit back <laughs> on the couch that I bought for myself and <laughs> fucking get fat <laughs> and watch him teach, man. Oh, great. You better believe this shit will come back to help me out, too. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> the coach right there. Spin it in something positive. No, but That's listen, great. I just wanted to call you guys and um and tell you, you know you've been doing a great job. I missed the last show you guys did, so I don't know what you covered. So everything right. besides that show, you guys have been doing a fucking awesome job, and I really uh I really enjoy wow. listening to you guys. Thank you so Thanks, much, Mike. Mike. Bye, brother. Right. And don't make sure you're in the area. Yeah, call back back quick. Listen, you guys are the fucking celebs. You got to throw me an invite. Let me know when you want me on. Get out of here. Say no more. Open Say no more. That's the Institute. That's the Institute Boy Tie 45 Car Ave in Keensburg, New Jersey. Institute Boy Tie 45 Car Ave. Kingsburg, New Jersey. Kingsburg on the come up too. I saw that that link you posted the other day too. Dude, right? I'm so excited. I don't yeah. want to get into it, but I'm Good so goddamn you. excited about right. that, man. Listen, you guys Good are awesome. The thank you for uh, thank you for always having me on. I appreciate it. No Anytime, Mike. Anytime, brother. All right, Mike. Talking yeah, to you, sure. bud. All right. 
How awesome was that? Good man. Good man. Nice bonus right like there. Him. Right? Right? Seriously. Well, not, not every day you get a good, uh, you know, gym owner slash Muay Thai coach who just got no, going across the, the country. Caller that I didn't cut off one time. 